If you've put on a little weight and you need to lose five pounds, stat, you've come to the right place. My mom, who's French, used to tell me about what her and her sisters would do, which she called une cure de légumes, which is basically a diet where you eat nothing but produce for three to five days. Now, I have come up with my own version, so stick around because I'm gonna take you through all the steps to lose five pounds in five days. So sometimes we just need a little bit of a kickstart. We need to lose some weight, summer's here, and we need something quick. We need to get de-bloated. I mean, it can happen to everybody. Myself, we're now in June. The month of May was like a mega disaster on the diet front. I traveled a lot for my birthday, and then I had a lot of dinners out. And next thing I knew, when I was about to get on a plane to fly from Florida to Texas, the jeans that I wore to fly to Florida did not fit anymore. Then I got back home I got on the scale a little embarrassed to say it but I saw a number that I had never seen or that I haven't seen in years okay I've got to do this diet yes it is restrictive but it only lasts five days and you'll see results quickly and that will encourage you and of course I will be sharing my own results I started at 146 pounds I'm 5'7 you've got to stick around till the end of the video to see if I lost the five pounds in five days For this to be a success, you have to do, before you even get started, these five things. A, you have to go grocery shopping. You have to pick up all of the ingredients for the next five days. It has to be done, right? Once you've invested the money in it, you'll do it. You'll be motivated. Two, prepare all your foods in advance. We're gonna meal prep. So that way, you know, when the meal's already ready to go, you're not gonna be as tempted to say, oh, to heck with it, I'm not doing this thing. Because things might get a little difficult at one point, you know, when the hunger pangs start. It's something that you wanna be prepared for. Number three, we are going to be doing intermittent fasting during this five-day diet, which means that we are only going to be eating during an eight-hour window. So pick the window. It could be that you eat your meals between noon and 8 p.m. It could be that you eat your meals between 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. It doesn't matter. That is up to you. Another tip, be prepared to lie to your friends. I'm not even kidding. Your friends will call, they'll want to go out, and you'll tell them the truth, right? You'll be like, oh, I can't go out because I'm doing this like five-day diet, trying to lose five pounds in five days and don't try to discourage you i guarantee it i guarantee it they'll be like oh don't do that it's stupid come out with us have fun and you'll be tempted to go so don't tell your friends you're doing a diet and the fifth thing to do is probably the most important thing you have got you have got to get rid of all the trash in your house. And by trash, I mean temptations, the pop tarts, the chips, the chocolate candies, whatever it is you've got in the house, I'm not kidding. I want you to take it and put it in the trash. We don't want any temptations. All right, let's get to it. Usually, in all honesty, I would tell you first thing in the morning, as soon as you open up your eyes, you have water. But we are making an exception. There's to be no water when you get up. Instead, I am going to walk to the kitchen and I'm going to get myself a glass of freshly pressed celery juice. And the celery juice has to be had on a complete empty stomach. It has to be the first thing that goes into your body. And not only does it have to be the first thing that goes into your body, it has to stay in your stomach by itself for 15 to 20 minutes. No coffee, no water. The reason for that is, is that it has a high amount of vitamins and a high amount of magnesium salts. And what that does is, is that it really enhances your immune system and it detoxifies your body deeply. During that 15 to 20 minutes, let's not get on our phone and scroll down social media. Let's do something that's good for our soul. I highly recommend that you sit down, take some quiet time to yourself, maybe sit outside, look at the sun, or read a good book, you know. Um, give your eyes a little rest, Dave. They don't need to be looking at a blue screen 24-7. So that is the first thing. And once that 20 minutes has elapsed, then please have a lot of water. I would say a good four cups of water and have your first coffee of the day if you need it. It's okay to put a little cream, a little milk, but no sugar. And while we are on the topic of liquids, coffee, celery juice, water, I am sorry to inform you that for the next five days, there will be no wine, no alcohol. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. 
fine. Alcohol is full of calories, it makes us bloated, and we are specifically trying to de-bloat. So let's forget about pouring ourselves a glass of white wine after a long day at work, sitting on our patio, enjoying spring. Sorry, not going to happen. And once we are done with our celery juice, our coffee, our water, we are moving on to cardio. During the next five days, we are going to be exercising not once a day, but yes, twice a day. Oh yeah! The reason for that is we wanna burn as many calories as we can, and working out twice a day will actually keep our metabolism running and burning all the time. And we're not gonna be doing anything crazy, don't worry. All I'm asking for is 30 minutes of a walk in the morning, either outside or on the treadmill, and another 30 minute walk in the evening. If you have it in you, and you could get in an extra 10 minutes on a rebounder during the day, if you have one, that would be great to keep your lymphatic system going. But if you don't have a rebounder, that's okay just stick to two walks a day and i actually have a video that i've made earlier about why french women choose to walk as opposed to run so be sure to check it out if you'd like to know why that is definitely the preferred method of fitness for a lot of european women Okay, so once we are done with our first workout of the day, we are moving on to, yay, our first meal of the day. Three eggs and one ounce of cheese. Eggs are actually the only whole food that you can find on the planet. It has all the nutrients that you need. It has all the vitamins that you need. It has amino acids, which your body needs to maintain muscle. And it's got healthy fats and it will keep you satiated it will keep you full the cheese the only reason is because it's good i love cheese okay but we are going to be reasonable with the cheese because it is actually a diet so we are only doing one ounce of cheese i really like um, this british cheddar from costco it's called coastal and it's just very 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 pungent if you will so a little bit of it really packs a punch and it melts beautifully do not buy pre-shredded cheese it has little to no flavor and it's got starch in it to keep the the cheese from clumping it's just no bueno this is how i make the eggs i keep it very simple i just put all three eggs in a bowl i whisk it up i put a little salt maybe a little pepper and i just do scrambled eggs once my eggs are almost cooked i will simply add my cheese let it melt and i will enjoy my first meal of the day And during the course of these five days, I want you to be very, very specific and intentional about taking care of yourself. Please be sure to get eight to nine hours of sleep every night. Your body cannot recover unless it sleeps well. And did you know that sleep deprivation causes your body to gain weight? Always make sure to sleep well and to sleep long enough. I mean, that's something that French women don't do. Skipping on their sleep, never. They're religious about it. Also, during the course of those five days, I highly encourage you to detoxify by drinking a ton of water. Aim for a gallon a day if you can. That's what I do on the regular. I drink water, that much water every day. These are habits that you want to really try to follow over the next five days so you see how you feel and you'll probably be tempted to keep at it, to keep those habits in your life so you feel healthier. We're trying to detoxify. We're trying to, to move the bad stuff out of us. We're trying to, you know, lose weight quickly. And something that I like to do and that my French mom taught me to do and that most French women do is dry brushing. So if you don't have one, get a dry brush and do a dry brushing session in the morning and at night during those five days. It doesn't have to take that long, five to seven minutes, but it really will get your blood circulation going. It'll get the lymphatic system moving and that'll help with your immune system. We are moving on to meal number two. And meal number two, you should only have it when you do get hungry. Listen to your body. When you get hungry, we are going for a wonderful protein green smoothie. It is delicious and it's very easy to make. Four cups of greens. I highly recommend baby spinach because they're just very, very smooth and very soft taste-wise. You put them in a high power blender and you had two cups of fruit, whichever fruit you prefer. I myself would recommend berries because berries are full of antioxidants and also so they have a low glycemic index, so it doesn't cause like a lot of sugar spikes in your bloodstream. But like I said, any 
fruit that you like. Highly, highly recommend that you add a teaspoon of matcha powder. So matcha is a type of, I believe, green tea. And what matcha does is that it has caffeine, but very, very pure and organic caffeine. So it'll help you with your energy levels, but matcha is great for water retention. So it'll help de-bloat you even further. And of course, it is a protein green smoothie. So we will be adding a scoop of whichever vanilla powder you prefer. That's up to you. Add some ice, mix it up and enjoy. <laughs> Once again, for meal number three, wait until you are hungry. So meal number three is really, really easy. I'm just doing a stir fry with a protein of your choice. As much vegetables as you want, you can even get like frozen vegetables from the store to make it easier. And six ounces of your favorite proteins. It can be shrimp, it can be fish, salmon, it can be chicken, it can be beef, it could be tofu if you're so inclined. And just stir fry it and for flavor, keep it very, very minimal. Maybe a little soy sauce, a little sugar-free teriyaki sauce from the store, but a very minimal amount, no more than I would say two teaspoons. I know that the flavors may seem blend but at the same time we are wanting to have bland flavors because we want to retrain our taste buds because when you've overindulged you've literally if you eat out every day if you've had junk food you've had too many drinks you get your taste buds overly sensitized you need to have a lot of sugar and you to taste something you need to have crazy flavors and that's not good for weight loss so let's keep it very very simple and if it's really hot where you live and you don't feel like having stir-fried vegetables by all means have a salad be sure also to go very easy on the salad dressing, something that's ideally sugar-free. If you're not used to this kind of like crazy five-day diet, it is possible that you will get super hungry. Try to deal with it. Try to talk yourself out of eating more. Remind yourself that, you know, on average on planet Earth, most people only get one meal a day. Not by choice because they're so poor, but if they can do it or they have to deal with it, you surely can deal with it for five days. Of course, if things get really too dire for you and you just can't deal, be kind to yourself. You know, don't feel guilty. And what I do in those cases is that I will take a green apple and I will have a spoon full so about a tablespoon and be sure to measure it because those calories really add up a spoonful of peanut butter or almond butter these are really like it's a healthy fat you know so you put that on a, on a piece of green apple and it will help really squash you know that those hunger pains so just just be kind to yourself but remind yourself that you can do it I have done it other people have done it and another solution if you get too hungry is to drink sparkling water yes sparkling water the bubbles in it actually take up space in your stomach and it really is amazing how mineral water or our club soda can actually keep you full and help you make it. Our last meal of the day is a tall glass of gazpacho. Gazpacho is a Spanish soup and it's served cold, so it's very refreshing. It's almost similar to a V8, but a V8 that you would make yourself with fresh vegetables. And it's very easy to make. And again, we're gonna make all of that in advance and it's delicious and it fills you up. So as you've noticed, over the next five days, everything we're doing is full of produce, vegetable, fruit, lean protein. So we're, we're not eating a lot. I, I, I would say that we're or taking it in around a thousand calories a day it's not that much but it's something that we're doing for only five days so I think it's totally fine and if you're not sure about any of this as always check with your doctor all right guys we are here after the five-day diet and I am a little bit scared to get on the scale but let's go do this and let's see if I have in fact lost five pounds So I made it, I went from 146 pounds to 1.41, 1.5, close enough. But just a quick reminder that this is only something you want to do when you really want to kick things into high gear. You want to get rid of blow quickly. You've really, you know, fallen off the wagon diet wise. You know, it's not something that you want to do on the regular. It's once in a while, right? Remember that a lot of the habits that we learned in this video, the produce, the sleep, the water, the celery juice, these are all things that you want to continue implementing into your life because they are so healthy. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions about anything in this video, please leave a message down below. I will be glad to answer any queries you might have. See you next time.
À la prochaine!